Hey, this is Brant with Vintage Statements, and today we've got this nice nine drawer dresser. Well, at least it will be nice at the end, so follow along. All right, this piece is pretty worn down. It is gunky, it's chipped up, and well, we're gonna try to save it. So, we've got nine drawers, three behind here. This is gonna be the hardest part is these doors right here. All of this design, painting it, getting in all the crevices, so that's something I'm not looking forward to. I have a matching armoire for the set too that we'll do next, but to, today we're gonna focus on this. We're gonna remove all the hardware, we're going to check the subframe, see if there's any issues there. Remove the doors, and then we can start sanding. We'll paint it, we'll scuff it up, and then we'll wax it and finish this piece off today. So, let's get started by removing all the hardware and checking the subframe. Make sure the tracks are good, make sure the stoppers in the back are there, all that. Got all the drawers off, or out, all the doors off, all the hardware is done. Subframe looks good, everything's nice and tight. It needs to be vacuumed out for sure, but we don't really need to get to that yet because we're going to do a bunch of sanding here. I got my DeWalt 80 grit sandpaper, uh, DeWalt sander 80 grit sandpaper. I'm going to go over the whole piece as much as possible. We'll take the paper off and do all the hand sanding that we have to do, especially on these drawers. <laughs> and, uh, well, We'll go from there, so let's get started. It's vacuumed out, wiped down, ready to paint. So what we're going to use is a gluten flat paint. It's an eggshell color. So, or excuse me, not eggshell, a robin's egg <laughs> color. It's been really popular for us recently. So we're going to do this piece. In another video, we did the armoire that matches. So we're going to finish this up. So two layers. I'm going to use my wedge brush for most of it and then I'll go with my angle or my circular brush or oval brush uh, for those fronts that have all the decor, trying to get it all into those grooves. That is a time consuming part of this whole project here. So keep that in the back of your mind when you're buying projects that have a lot of decor. They do take a lot more extra work to paint and get them right. So let's get started, we'll do the frame and then we'll start working on the drawers.
All right, we are to a point now where we can start scuff sanding. Now, if you wanted to leave it the solid uh, Robin's Egg color, perfectly fine. You would just move on to waxing the piece. Uh, with vintage here, we like to scuff it up, give it a little vintage look. So, I've got the old sandpaper from sanding the piece down. We're just gonna go over it nice and easy, just scuff it up, give it a, give it a worn in look, and then we'll start waxing. waxed, or I mean painted, scuffed, and vacuumed out. Remember to always do that after you scuff uh, so you get it, all the dust off so when we start waxing it'll look really nice. So I got an old sock, I got my uh, very thin finishing wax, it's a natural. We're just going to go over all the pieces here and then we can start putting the hardware on. So let's get started. Alright, here it is completed, nine drawer dresser with the nice decor in the front. Used Glidden paint, a robin's egg color. We scuffed it up and well, the end result, I think it's pretty cool. So if you like this project and many of our others, subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook and Instagram, and even check out the video that, of the armoire that matches this set.